Hi everyone, and welcome back to U University. I'm Dr. Kelly. This is one of my ancillary videos, so it's gonna be a little more chatty and maybe a little more personal. Today I'm going to be doing a little show and tell of some knitting and yarn. And then I thought I'd talk about some of my favorite products that I love using in the summer. That includes a couple of knitting related items and then some other lifestyle things. I just thought it would be kind of fun and different to share some things that I'm liking this summer. So happy July. Are you guys stuck in this awful heat wave? It's been so muggy here. The air is just thick and oppressive every single day. Now this afternoon we're having some thunderstorms pop up here and there, so you might hear some thunder in the background. But anyway, uh, I hope everything's good with you guys. I've been mostly staying busy with my summer class. Since it's a condensed class, I have essays to grade every single week. It takes me a uh, kind of a long time to go through all of them and provide detailed comments to the students. Um, and then I'm trying something new, which is having online office hours on Sunday evenings. I'm thinking about doing that in the regular semester, and I'm seeing how it goes this summer. Other than that, my main activity every week lately has been going to physical therapy for my knee. You might remember that I mentioned that I was having a lot of knee pain back in May, and um, at that point I was on crutches and could hardly walk at all. But I'm happy to say that I'm walking, no more crutches, and I'm really grateful for that. I have a couple more weeks of physical therapy and I'm hoping that I'm back to 100% by then. I've been going for walks most days and doing a lot of stretching and strengthening exercises, which has really helped. Um, John and I went to Minnesota at the end of May for 10 days and we stayed in our usual cabin by the lake and as always, it was very peaceful and relaxing. It was still quiet up there. Not a lot of vacationers were there yet. The weather, weather was pretty cool. We had a few days of rain, but the rest of the days were nice. Nothing super hot, so that was great. Um, one of the best things was that my friend Kathy and her husband Dell came all the way from Seattle to have a little holiday with us there. It took them three days to drive and they arrived in the pouring rain, but it was fabulous to meet them finally. Um, Kathy and I have been friends online for years on Ravelry, on Instagram, on YouTube, but we'd never met in person. But it's just one of those things where over the years you just get to know a person and both Kathy and Dell were exactly like that I imagined them to be, super nice, sweet people. So we hit it off right away and Kathy and I spent time knitting together, going for walks in the woods and of course doing a little bit of yarn shopping. In fact, while we were there, we met my friend Shelly who lives in that area at a local yarn shop and we all got some souvenir yarn. So let me pause here and show you the yarn that I got. Um, this is one skein. It's from a local dyer in Park Rapids, Minnesota called uh, The Yarn Market. I don't think they have an online shop though. I think she only sells at Monica's, which is the yarn shop in Park Rapids, Minnesota. Um, June is the dyer behind The Yarn Market and she works there at the yarn shop. So anyway, this yarn is a fingering weight merino nylon stellina blend so it has little silver sparkles in it and this is the jack frost colorway i just love this powder blue with a little shimmer in it the other yarn that i got is this one from dunn roving yarns and it's called frolicking feet which is fingering weight and it's 100 percent superwash merino and the colorway is called Coastal Cruisin. I was drawn to the purple and lime green, and then it has a little blue in the middle. And Dunn Roving Yarn has an online shop, so I'll include a link below in case you wanna go check it out. So these were my two souvenir yarns. And Kathy and Shelly and I had such a nice time together after we did our yarn shopping. We had a fabulous dinner at a cute little bistro where we sat on the covered patio and knit and chat. So it was a great day. 
Oh, and I have to show you this stunning gift that Kathy gave me. She knit this gorgeous shawl for me. I love it so much. It is super soft and squishy, and I wore it quite a few days while they were, while we were having cool weather in Minnesota. And even since I've been home when it's kind of chilly in the air conditioning, and I'll definitely be wearing it all the time this fall and winter. So thank you so much, Kathy, for this wonderfully thoughtful gift. Now, while we were at the lake, Kathy and I spent an afternoon playing with dyeing sock blanks. And I had brought several sock blanks along with me so we could do this. And one day we went into town to the little grocery store and got a bunch of Kool-Aid and spent several hours hand dyeing our sock blanks with the Kool-Aid. And I'll show you how mine turned out. We each had three blanks. And here is one of mine. And here is the second one. And this is the third one. So we had a lot of fun dyeing these sock blanks outside on a picnic table next to the lake. And what I like is that using Kool-Aid to dye yarn is safe in terms of you don't have to worry about chemical contamination in your kitchen or anything like that. And yes, Kool-Aid will permanently dye yarn. So if you want to try Kool-Aid dyeing, there are tons of tutorials here on, on uh, YouTube. I'll find one and link it down below in the information box. I'll also link to some bare yarn that you can get to dye yourself. And this is such a fun project that you can do with your knitting friends or even your kids or grandkids. You can dye the yarn and then have this keepsake yarn and whatever you make with it will have those memories attached to it. Now also when I was in Minnesota, I met up with Samantha who is the dyer behind Lavender Loon Yarns. We follow each other on Instagram and discovered that she lives really close to where our cabin is. So we made arrangements to get together for lunch one day. And that was super fun to meet her in person. Of course, I had to order some of her beautiful yarn and then she delivered it to me the day we had lunch. So I got two skeins of it. This is Lavender Loon yarn and they're both MCN, Merino Cashmere Nylon. And this is one of them. Um, the, this one, the colorway is called Victorian Blue Jeans. And I love the muted red, blue, and tan. Now the other one is a solid, and the colorway is called Granny Panties, which is a very light pink color, like a blush pink, yeah. Um, and I think these two colorways might even go together for a shawl project or something like that. So this is my beautiful lavender loon yarn that I got while I was up there. And I had the nicest time chatting with Samantha and having lunch together. So that was another awesome day. Okay, and the last thing I wanna show you is a shawl that I finished. This is the Sugar Plum Shawl by Rachel Roden. And it was a pattern that came in the Jimmy Beans Wool Craft Vent Calendar last year. And that was an advent calendar that I bought last November. And the pattern was done as a mystery knit along starting on December 1st. This was a really fun advent calendar in that you got not only the pattern, but also the different yarns to knit it with in addition to a bunch of different notions. So there were eight different yarns and you didn't get the whole skein, but basically just enough to make one particular section of the shawl. You could choose from three different colorways and the one I got is called Sugar Plum. And as you can see, it has several different shades of gray plus purple and turquoise. And every few days you would knit the next clue, which was usually one section of the pattern. So most people done, were done with it by Christmas, but as per usual, I was way behind. This is why I don't host knit-alongs. You never know when I'm actually gonna finish the project. <laughs> but anyway, it was pretty slow going as I was knitting on it, um, just when I could. And I kind of got hindered by this last section, which was this turquoise lace border. 
And what you were supposed to do was use your leftover bits of yarn from each section and make the lace border out of that. So it was supposed to be all these different colors. But I thought I would like a solid color better. So I went ahead and ordered a whole skein of this turquoise yarn, which was what you were to start the lace section with. But I love how this turned out. The yarns in this shawl are all different brands. There are, there's Anzulas, Lorna's Laces, Dream in Color, Malabrigo, Sweet Georgia, Madeline Tosh, um, Manos del Uruguay, and Ba Yarns. It was really fun getting to use all these different brands and colorways. And the pattern kept my interest without being too challenging. As you can see, there are open lacy sections interspersed with garter stitch sections. So I enjoyed it and finally finished it and I'm really happy with it. It's both pretty and squishy. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Sugar Plum Shawl. And again, this is the pattern by Rachel Roden. And you can actually buy it on Ravelry for I think $7. Okay, so that is it for show and tell. And now I thought it would be fun to share with you some of my favorite things that I like to use in the summer. A couple of them are knitting related and the rest are just random lifestyle things. So first is my favorite kind of yarn to use in the summer. And I'm talking about general composition of the yarn, not a specific brand so much. And my favorite kind of yarn to use in the summer is cotton wool blend. Using a cotton wool blend yarn gives you the best characteristics of both fibers. The cotton feels cool and soft to the touch, and the wool contributes elasticity and moisture wicking properties. Now there are a whole bunch of different brands that sell cotton wool blend yarn, but this one I just happened to find quickly in my stash, and this is called Cotton Fleece by the Brown Sheep Company. This particular yarn is a DK weight, 80% cotton and 20% merino. Um, I'm in the process of making a little toddler sweater out of it. So I, I'm showing you a close up here and you can see how nice it knits up. It has a good feel to it as well. Soft and smooth, not scratchy at all. So that is cotton wool blend yarn, one of my summer favorites. One of my favorite summer knitting patterns is a shawl, and this one is called Citron by Hilary Smith Callis. It was a free pattern that was published in Knitty almost 10 years ago. The original pattern calls for lace weight yarn, but I'm not a really big fan of lace weight yarn. So I made this one with DK weight cotton on a US size seven needle, which is a 4.5 millimeter. Now, because I used a thicker yarn and bigger needle than the pattern calls for, my shawl turned out a lot bigger than the one in the pattern. The original one from the pattern is more of a small shawlette, but as you can see, this one I made is pretty big. I made it out of uh, Cascade Ultra Pima cotton, and I love this bright summery melon color. It is great to throw over your shoulders on cool summer evenings, or when you get cold inside air conditioned buildings. Um, the only thing is that it's a bit heavy because it's made out of cotton, but I have enjoyed wearing this for many summers. And again, that is the Citron Shawl by Hilary Smith Callis, and you can still get that on Ravelry for free. All right, now let's talk about some summer favorites that are not related to knitting. And the first summer favorite here is this headband that I'm wearing. These are a really unique, fairly new product called Square Bands. I talked about them on one of my videos last year, but I thought I would mention them again today because they are definitely one of my summer favorites. Actually, they're my favorites year round, but these are the most comfortable headbands I have ever worn. They are made out of durable plastic, and here's what's different about them. They have foldable arms similar to sunglasses. So if you've ever taken your sunglasses off and pushed them over your head to hold your hair back, that's exactly how these work, except that your hair won't get caught in the metal pieces of your sunglasses, um, like what always happens to me. 
So with the square bands, when you unfold the arms, they go straight down with a very slight curve at the end to lightly hug your head. The earpieces are covered in soft, rubbery material to gently hold them in place. And this makes a huge difference in the way they feel on your head. The way traditional plastic headbands are made, they're shaped like horseshoes with just one so solid curve. So the part that fits behind your ears is always poking into your head. And I used to get the worst headaches wearing headbands because of the way they pushed into my head. With square bands, I never get headaches because they don't press into your head. I've also tried the soft cloth headbands that wrap all the way around your head, but those always end up slipping back and I'm constantly tugging on them and readjusting them. But these square bands really gently but firmly hold your hair back. I mean, when you have one on, it doesn't slide around and there's no danger of it falling off. One reason is because of the rubber tips, but another reason is because of the little teeth that line the top arch. So these features combined with the overall fit makes the square band comfortable and secure, and they look cute when you're wearing them. Another great thing is that they're compact and easy to store. They would definitely fit into your bag so you can carry one with you just in case you need to tame your hair on a windy day or keep it back after you get out of the pool or whatever the situation. They would also make awesome gifts for your friends or your kids or even your grandkids. Another thing I love about square bands is that they come in so many different colors and patterns. Plus you can get them with little crystals that add some bling on the sides if you want that. So you're sure to find one in your favorite color or your favorite print. Now these are the ones that I have. Well, the one I'm wearing is the turquoise leopard print. And then I have the white one with five rows of crystals, the aquamarine crystals on the side. I have this pink one with two rows of clear crystals and I have this taupe one with five rows of clear crystals. Now last year I bought two of these myself and then Julie, the owner of Square Bands, actually sent me a couple more last year after I talked about them on my video. Now she recently sent me three more square bands that I am going to put in a giveaway. So I'm gonna do that later this summer. I'm gathering up some great items for giveaway packages, so keep watching my videos this summer for future details on what else will be included and when the giveaway will happen. So the ones that I'm gonna be giving away are a tortoise shell one with two rows of crystals, a black one with five rows of crystals and a pink one that's exactly like mine with two rows of crystals. Now in case you want to check square bands out for yourself, I'm going to put a link to their online store down below. Prices start at $12.50 for a plain solid color and go up to I think $20 for some of the different designs with crystals. But Julie has given me a coupon code for you University viewers and that is UUEWEU. -E and with that coupon code, you'll get 25% off your entire order of $25 or more. So I hope you guys go out and try some square bands and that you love them as much as I do. Okay, my next summer favorite is sunscreen. And I'm super picky about sunscreen because I hate wearing anything that feels heavy on my skin, whether it's my face or the rest of the body. And you know, dermatologists always say that the best sunscreen is the one that you will actually wear. You know, you can go out and get the SPF 100 plus, but if you can't stand the feel of it on your skin, you're not gonna put it on. So over the years, I have tried dozens of different sunscreens and have had trouble finding one that I enjoy wearing. But this year, I found it. And it was recommended by a dermatologist who uses it herself. And this is the Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel uh, Quick Lotion. It's a Japanese sunscreen and it's made in Japan, which you can tell because all the writing on the back is in Japanese. <laughs> But this sunscreen is incredibly lightweight. It's called a water gel, and it feels almost like as light as water. 
As you can see, it comes out white, but then turns clear very quickly and rubs right into the skin. The one that I have is SPF 35, which means it protects against 97% of the sun's UVB rays, which are the ones that burn. And it also has a PA++ rating, which means it has very good UVA protection. And UVA is the, are the sun's rays that cause aging. The only drawback with this lotion is it's not very moisturizing. It, if you have super dry skin and prefer more emollient sunscreens, then this might not be the one for you. But if you like the feel of nothing on your skin, you'll probably love this. And I do. <laughs> and again, this is the Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel Lotion. And you can get it on Amazon for around $10 to $15. Another product that I love, especially in the summer, is this cooling lotion from Skin Iceland. It's called the Antidote, and it's a very lightweight, soothing moisturizer. As I previously said, lotions that are too thick or creamy are just too much for my skin, and I don't like the feel of them. This one soaks in right away and leaves behind a smooth, matte finish. Nothing greasy, shiny, or sticky. The reason this is one of my summer favorites is that immediately after applying this lotion, your face starts to feel cool and a little tingly. This sensation is caused by the mint derivatives in the ingredients. It even has a light, fresh, minty scent. So the antidote is lightweight and can be used by people with all skin types, even sensitive skin. You only need a small amount for each application. It leaves your skin with just enough moisture and it's fast and easy to rub in. And it's also vegan friendly. The biggest complaint about this lotion that I've seen is that some people are sensitive to the cooling effect. So that mint sensation is overwhelming to some people. But I would say that if you're interested in trying it, buy a travel to travel size tube of it because you can get that for like $12 and see how you like it. That's what I did and I ended up loving it. The full size bottle is kind of pricey. This is $45 and it's uh, 1.76 fluid ounces, but this bottle will probably last like a year because of the small amount you have to use every day. So I love this, especially in the summer, and have not been able to find any drugstore products that have the same cooling sensation that lasts as long as this one. If you guys know of any, leave a comment down below. And again, that is the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion from Skin Iceland. I highly recommend it. My next summer favorite is something else I just splurged on, and that is an Erin Condren Planner. Being a professor, I buy calendars and planners for the academic year, so mine always start in July and end in June. And up until now, I've always gotten these inexpensive planners, academic planners from Staples. And this is my calendar from last year. Um, and these are great, but they don't seem to sell them in this appointment book style anymore, at least for the academic year. I mean, a few years ago, they stopped selling them in the store and you had to order them online, which is what I did. And this year I couldn't even find them online. So I've been wanting to try an Erin Condren planner for a while, especially since they now come in hourly format, which is what I'm looking for. And what that means is that each week comes in a two page spread with a column for each day. And the columns have the times listed so you can write in your appointments. So I write in when all my classes are, my office hours, committee meetings, weekly meetings with students, personal appointments, everything. You can get as fancy as you want with color coding, stickers, or whatever you want. I don't do a whole lot of stickers, but I do like to color code things with highlighter markers. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and get the Erin Condren planner to see how I like it. It costs $55. But if you're interested in getting one, I'm putting a link down below that will give you $10 off your first purchase, which is an 18% discount. You just have to click on that link, and then after you create your account, you'll get an email with a $10 coupon code for your first purchase. 
The discount is only good for 30 days after I post this video, so if you're seriously wanting to try out anything from Erin Condren, do it within the next 30 days to get that $10 off. Anyway, for your planner, you can choose a cover from, I counted 83 different cover styles, and some of those come in different colors, so there are even more options than that. This one that I selected is called Colorful Bouquet and you customize it by choosing the layout you want. There are three options, and I chose the hourly one, which is the layout that has each day in one column with the times listed. You can also choose um, whether you want the calendar pages to be colored or neutral, and I chose the neutral theme. Then you get to select whether you want an academic year or the regular calendar year. And you choose what color coil you want. This one is platinum, but you can also get gold, rose gold, or black. And finally, you can personalize the cover with your name, and this is included in the cost. So when you get your planner, it's exciting to be able to see it finally in person. I think it's really beautiful. I love the cover. It's extra thick cover stock that's laminated and very durable. It's on both front and the back. And the cover also comes off in case you want to switch out different covers. Um, I love the quality of the paper inside. It is 70 pound paper, which is a lot thicker than regular paper. And you can definitely write with highlighter and it doesn't bleed through to the next day or to the next week. So each month has a tab so you can find your spot fairly quickly. At the beginning of each month, you have a monthly calendar layout, and then it goes into individual pages for each week. After the calendar section, you have a few blank line pages, some blank dot pages, and a couple of coloring pages. How cute are those llamas? And then you have a page for contact information of people you want to keep in touch with. The last pages contain a calendar of the whole next year with places to keep track of upcoming events and appointments. And I love this because I know I always have a list in the back of my calendar of things that I need to put in next year's calendar. So that, that will definitely come in handy for me. And then the last thing in the planner is a folder page where each side has a pocket where you can insert whatever you need to keep. Now, you can also buy tons of accessories and stickers to use with your planner, but I'm not really interested in doing that. Um, I just started using my new planner last week. So far, it's been good. I would say the only thing that bothers me about this planner is the size of the coil. I feel like the coil is way too big for this 12 month planner. And it wouldn't be that big of a deal, except that when I'm trying to write on Wednesdays, which is the column immediately to the left of the coil, it's very difficult to write. Being right-handed, my hand is on top of the coil when I'm trying to write on that part of the page. So I do wish you could customize your planner with a smaller coil. Other than that, it's been great and I've already put in all my stuff for the fall. So that is my Erin Condren Life Planner. Okay, my last summer favorite is my Fitbit. This is the Fitbit Charge 2 and I bought it about a month ago. So I'm sure you've all heard of Fitbits before. They are one of the most popular fitness trackers on the market. They provide a pretty amazing service for people who lead busy lives but still want helpful and accurate fitness insights. They collect an incredible amount of data about your physical activity as well as your sleep quality and let you stay in touch with your fitness as much as you want to. The Fitbit brand is kind of known for the average user. There are other fitness trackers with fancier capabilities, but Fitbit is easy to use and works well with a lot of different physical activities. So here are some things that I like the most about my Fitbit Charge 2. Uh, first, it has a fairly big screen that I find easy to read. It tracks your steps and distance, which you can map onto your goals. Like say your goal is to walk 8,000 steps a day. Once you've reached that goal, it vibrates on your wrist, shows fireworks, and tells you how awesome you are. 
It has an altimeter, which tracks how many flights of stairs you've walked, which is kind of cool. I also love that it detects when you've been idle for a certain time window and has move alerts that remind you to get up and walk around. If you haven't taken 250 steps in the past hour, it will vibrate and give you a motivational message on the screen. That's probably the biggest thing I need because I can be working at the computer for hours on end and then my wristband will vibrate and say, let's walk 96 steps or take me on a walk. And I like that because otherwise I lose track of time and end up sitting for far too long. So the move alerts are a surprisingly handy thing. Another thing that I love about it is that it gives your heart rate without having to wear one of those chest straps around your chest. It, it just measures your heart rate right from the wristband. Um, the battery only needs to be recharged every four or five days. It does track your sleep, but I don't use it for that. Um, I just don't like wearing it at night, but that's just me. Um, I think it would be cool to get sleep data, but I find it a little too bulky to wear to bed. Now the bands are interchangeable, which I love, and I have several different colors, so you can get different colors and styles. Um, they, have, they have the rubbery ones, they have leather, they have um, metal. Um, the bands also come in three different sizes, small, large, and extra large, so you should be able to find one that fits you well. It does sync with your smartphone on the Fitbit app to keep track of all your data, so you can use the app to see graphs of your progress and things like that whenever you want to. You can also set it up to receive notifications from your phone, like text messages, calendar reminders, and caller ID. I do not use it for that, though. Overall, I really like this fitness band and find it comfortable to wear during the day. I can type with it, I can do my work with it, and I like the reminders to get up and walk around. As far as fitness bands go, it's not super expensive. Regular price, it runs about $150, and there are a lot more expensive ones. But look for a sale at places like Best Buy or Target. I'm sure they sell them other places as well. I got mine for around $120 on sale, but I've actually seen them online for less than $100. But again, that is the Fitbit Charge 2, one of my favorite things this summer. Okay, so that is it for this edition of my summer favorites. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the things that I'm loving this summer. And now it's your turn to let me know what your summer favorites are, whether it's about crafting or other things. I'm always eager to hear from you after I post a video, and this time I'm hoping to find some new things to try out based on your recommendations. So leave your comments along with any questions or requests down in the comment section below, and I will post links to everything I talked about today in the information box right below this video. Just click on show more to open up the box and you'll see all the links there. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Now before I go, I wanted to wish all my Canadian friends a happy Canada Day and all my American friends happy Independence Day. Have safe holiday celebrations this week. And until next time, remember to stay smart and have a sparkly week.